Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Seriously? This is just like the, the other base. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect with Cinderia Shepard and Hill here. We are on board the Normandy, looking at our galaxy map, about to travel to the next system in the Armstrong Nebula, searching for Geth. All right, our next stop is Hong. Bring the Tantalus Drive online. All right, we are now in the Hong system and it's time for us to scan these planets. The first one is the planet Pamal. All right, there is nothing here. Tria gear. Ah, and there's something to survey. All right, we found a deposit of lithium. I just love this music. <laughs> Goodness. Caspin, that sounds familiar. I think that might be the planet we're looking for. Let's head to Matar. Ah, and we can survey this one as well. And... Wouldn't you know it, Matriarch Delanaga again, we found more of her writings. All right. Theshaka. Theshaka. Here we go. All right, nothing here. done scanning the system. I don't see any anomalies or anything out of the ordinary. Let's head to Caspin. And yes, we're being prompted to land. Caspin is a classic pre-garden terrestrial world with conditions similar to those on Earth millions of years ago. Its hot, humid atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. An, in an increasing amount of the surface is covered by simple lichen and algae. Should no unexpected calamity occur, these teeny plants will change the atmosphere to an Earth-like nitrogen-oxygen mix over the next few millennia. Due to its potential for future habitability and sapient life, Caspin has been designated a sanctuary world by the Citadel Council. Landing is prohibited by law and any disturbance of the fragile young ecosystem will result in harsh fines and imprisonment. All right, so we've got a lot going on here. We're breaking the law anyway. At present, the planet is passing through the debris trail of a long-period comet. All right, so we have to break the law to land on Caspin to look for the Geth incursion. All right, we've got our mission. Let's get our landing party together. All right, we are taking our Geth expert, Tali Zora Naraya. And, oh, do I want Caden? Yeah, we'll bring him. <laughs> Twist by Arb, we'll bring him. All right, let's go. But the, the, this combo has been working out well with uh, Caden and Tally. So we'll just continue to use them throughout this Geth uh, experience. All right, planet fall successful. Let's see what we've got on our map. Hmm, anomaly, debris, anomalous signal, and a Geth outpost. All right, we will go counterclockwise.
Yeah, but our last um, mission, encountering the Geth, was quite, quite difficult. There, there really is a, um, a difficulty spike on that particular mission. And it, it was quite hard. It, I think it took me three to four times to get through that mission. To actually finish it without being killed, I guess is the, the proper way of looking at it. Alright, the Mako is doing its best. I don't know, maybe this is the planet with the the horrible terrain. I don't know, because th this terrain is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, I don't know if it was Caspin or that other one we were on. I'm kind of leaning toward uh, Caspin with these deep crevices and whatnot. And I don't know exactly where this thing is. I think it's still it's up, not down. Is it up? Yeah, yeah, here it is. Okay, we found it. Now if I can just find level surface. Got it. There we go. Okay, we're examining a beacon. And apparently there's an artifact here which I don't see. No. Oh. I tell you. It's too bad the um the mod that gives me controller support doesn't cover these mini games. Because it's actually these mini games are a lot easier on a 360 controller, because I think you just have to press the the face button when it lights up very easy to do. I mean, not that this is really that hard, but okay. I'm a little challenged. All right, an ID tag recovered. Buried under the beacon was an identification tag for Captain Theon. There's no identity. There is, there's no indication of why it was hidden here or who buried it in the first place. All right, Captain Theon. Let's get back in the Mako, and let's see where is our next stop. Debris. Wow, look at this terrain. This, this must be the planet. Oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Oh no, I think... The do we even want to go down in that? I think we want to try to stay up top here. Mm -mm. I don't think we can make this. Yeah, it, this has to be the planet. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the only way I see to go is down. I don't think we're going to make this at all. Look. Look at this. Alright, let's try again. We'll try this at an angle. We may be able to do this. Come on. No, it's slipping. Come on. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. I don't think there's any climbing this. <laughs> and I'm laughing. Hmm. Imagine how frustrated people have been over the years trying to use the Mako to traverse this terrain. And look what you get. See, this is what they, they should have. Nav mesh, whatever you want to call it. Pathfinding on all of the surfaces of these mountains. So that the Mako can easily scale them. This is ridiculous. Look at this. Nothing on this on this part of the mountain has any sort of traction. It's almost as though they forgot to put it in the game. Oh, now now we've got a little traction. Look at this. Okay. Oh, 
All right, I think we're all right now. Hopefully this thing is up here on the top of this mountain. Oh my goodness, are we, this, is, this is like a roller coaster, you know, that build up to climb to the very apex of the roller coaster and then you drop. I think that's what we're about to do, people. Except we'll, we'll take this slowly. Where is this? I see some red marker there to the right. And if we can even get out of this area, that is going to be a miracle. Okay, I saw a crash probe briefly there. Shield Interface 8. That's not high enough. We're, we're, we've moved on. All right, so Frictionless Materials 9. I'll take that. And High Explosive Rounds 10. Uh, I'll take those, but the, you know, again, their overheating is a problem with these uh, high explosives. All right, let's go. What's next? A mummified Solarian? You know what? It's not it's not just Dillanaga that seems to be getting around. These mummified Solarians are everywhere too. Oh no, how are we gonna get out of here? You know, I'm almost thinking that I need to return to the Normandy and then do another drop. But we'll we'll persevere, I mean. I know people have been able to do this. I've done this before many years ago, so I guess there is a way of getting to where I need to be. Just have to be patient. Yeah, th this has got to be that planet. Oh my goodness, look at this drop. Um, oh no, I don't even know. Is it in the valley or? All right, hold on. Let's see if can we read the terrain of the map. So it's on top of the mountain. It's not in the valley. All right, can we stay up on top of the mountain and try to get around? What do you call that? The, the relief on the map to see the, the elevation? Oh, I think I see the marker. Yeah, we have to take this slowly because one of the other problems with the Mako is that if it hits something, it could, you know, tend to go flying off in a direction. Oh, like, okay, see, it's starting to get out of control right now. Okay, calm down, Mako. Calm down. Okay, there's a marker there. Can we get over there? Wow, which way? Let's go to the right. Careful. All right, I'm just trying to find a level area. I got to pull up here. Okay, let's go check out this mummified Solarian. Um, wait, where's the mummified Solarian? We're not there yet. I thought that. Okay, I thought the beacon was telling us that that's where the Solarian was. Okay, we're. Hmm. Is it? Wait, is it right over this ridge? Maybe. No. All right, everybody, back in the Mako. I do not know where this thing... Because we're right here. Where... 
We're right on top of it. Why don't I see it? gonna go on <laughs> I really have problems with games that make things more difficult than they should be I mean seriously we have a map marker and there's nothing here may have I not set the map marker correctly it's right here okay now pointing back this way that I've accurately lined up the map marker and see here we are back at the beacon and I do not see a solarian mummified or otherwise what on earth I mean what I don't know if there's something down there or not. You know what? We're leaving. Don't care about the mummified Solarian. I mean, seriously. You couldn't... Bioware designed this game to have the, the Solarian out in the open so we could see it when we got to the location. Th this is just... Not good. Not good at all. We are moving on. It's a good thing I'm not trying to do a completionist run. Because <laughs> uh, I would really be upset right now. Okay. Um, let's go. And I, I guess I would spend hours trying to search for the Solarian as well. But I'm not doing that. I just want to try to complete the game as far as uh, you know, doing... I'd like to do all the missions if we find them all, but uh, if not, the majority of them is fine. And that's including all the side missions. But I just want to get uh, reintroduced fully into this uh, universe. Which was truly amazing. And, you know, it's really sad, though, that, you know, they, they had a, plans for movies and all that stuff. And one bad ending and revolt of uh, gamers and, you know, Mass Effect is pretty much a footnote in history. All right, we are being jammed. Is there some place where I can stop and do a save? Because I don't want to have to drive all the way back here. If... Our encounter is anything like it was on the other planet. Okay, here we go. Saving. Alright, let's make sure I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, it looks like it. It's slightly off to the right. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Seriously? This is just like the, the other base. Mako does not want to cooperate. Alright, come on, turn. We gotta get down there. Look at these snipers. that missile hit. Alright, come on, mate. 
go move. All right, I am not putting up with this foolishness. All right, Caden. Barriers up. Charging up. Caden and Tally, I want you to fry this thing. Thank you. What? Oh, that's you shooting me. Okay. All right. Let's get back in here. Snipers are that powerful. Heading out. Got it. I think we got him, Commander. All right, what's this red bar that we got here? Oh hell, a Geth dropship again. Get out of the Mako! Golly! Really, Tally? thing CM is hot Probably not in a good spot here. Get it? I think we're good, wow. Look at the Mako. I'm afraid to even get in it. It's probably going to blow up the minute we do. Can I do a save here? <laughs> Yeah, let's go for the save, just in case I get in here and the thing blows up. Okay, here we go. Prepare. Yeah, well, look at this. We are still low on Metagel from Omnigel. Boy, I keep getting that stuff <laughs> confused. From that last horrific encounter that we had. Okay, so... Oh, 
there's some mineral deposits here. Really? I don't even know if I want to go get them at this point. Let's see, because if, if it's not out in the open, or I can easily get to it, it's time to move on. This is it right here. Yes, uranium. Okay, a large deposit of uranium. And it comes with plenty of credits. All right, let's look at the map. I think, wait, why is this turned into a question mark? Oh, we, didn't we go to the anomalous signal? Or was that the one that we couldn't find? You know what, we're leaving. <laughs> I've had enough of hor horrific terrain and I just don't like the Geth. I, I, I'm sorry, just never liked them. And these missions are, are particularly difficult. Although this last one was not as difficult as the one before it. All right, well, I think we have one more location to go to to look for Geth. And then I think there's a bonus location after that because it this like, seems like this just never ends. But anyhow, folks, this is Hill and I'm out.